Hello friends. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. The project I'm bringing to you this morning will be these wine glasses that are glittered for Halloween. So these are super cute and I do go through the process of making these wine glasses and the video will be attached. So the one thing I will say on these ones, I wanted to do orange because of Halloween. Now these, the coverage on them is not the best because this isn't really the greatest glitter for doing these particular cups. It's a very chunky, inexpensive glitter. However, I really wanted the orange. And since these are going to be for the Halloween season, I wasn't extremely worried about it. Now, if I were giving these as a gift, I would use definitely a more fine glitter. Now, your polyester glitter, of course, is going to be your best one. But... The inexpensive glitters can certainly be very pretty also. You just have to use the right glitter for the right project. I knew going into this that it wasn't going to be the best coverage, but this was the glitter that I wanted to use. So, but they still turned out really, really, really cute. On these, I did, I didn't want them to be very heavy either. So, Wine glasses can tend to be heavy, and once you add epoxy on anything, they can be quite heavy. So with these, the first layer I actually did with thin layers, not on the turner. I did two super thin layers so that I could put my decal on. And once I put my decal on, I did go in and cover it with glue, with some tacky glue, and let that dry just to make sure, since it is a chunky glitter and I was doing very thin coats of epoxy, to make sure that it stayed in place really well. And then I put it on my turner with a thin, another thin coat, but a little bit thicker of epoxy. Now, additionally, I only did my epoxy to here because I want lots of room to be able to drink out of. Same with this one. And these turned out really cute. I like these a lot. I love doing the wine glasses. So what I realized from last month is that Sometimes people go through and they just look for giveaways. And I want to make sure that I'm doing a giveaway to someone that is actually watching my videos. Because I appreciate you guys so very much. And the giveaway is supposed to be a thank you for being here and supporting me. So... From here on out, when I do giveaways, I am going to be embedding them in a video. So for October, I am going to be doing this Halloween tumbler, And I will attach the video on this one if you haven't seen it. And you want to get a better look at it. This is so cute. So today is Tuesday the 6th and I am going to draw, well Matthew will draw on Saturday. So it's going to be a very short time. So this will end through Friday night and then when I wake up on Saturday that will be it. I'll put everybody in the drawing and I will have Matthew draw. I want to be able to get this out to the winner for Halloween and, you know, be able to put your name on it and all of that good stuff. So I ask that if you are the winner, 
to please notify me within a week so that I can get this done and get it out to you on time. Please hit like, subscribe, and in the comments, put something in the comments that has the word Halloween, and I will enter you in the drawing. These turned out adorable, and I will have the video attached. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping in, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later, friends. Bye. Hello, friends. Welcome back. All right, so let me just show you the items that I have. Well, first of all, how do you like my tray? So I told Scott that I needed a tray that I could use to do glitter so I don't get it everywhere because I am crazy with glitter. So he made me this pineapple tray, and then I just went in and painted it and resined over top of it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. So I just have some um, freezer paper down to protect it. Now this glue that I'm using, this glue is actually, so I told you, you can save your glue. This glue has been in this bag and this glue is probably two weeks old. So hopefully it's enough. If not, I'll just get some more, no big deal. All right, and then I, I turned the camera off when I was trying to change the angle. All right, so I have two wine glasses, which that's what we're gonna use today. And I have this carafe with water. We'll be using this carafe in a different project. So I don't always do this anymore. When I first started doing wine glasses, I always did it this way. But I just wanted to show you in case you're new to doing them and don't really feel comfortable. Getting them even. And especially when you're doing a set. Because when you're doing a set, you want them, you want your taping and stuff to be even. So I'm just kind of looking at them from the bottom to make sure they're even. And that's perfect. All right, so. Now I'm just going to move these over to my tape to my little tray here. And I'll push this down so that you can see better. Maybe like that is that better? And then we'll change it as we're doing. All right. I'm trying to get better with my angles and stuff so you know i'm only just now getting to the year mark being on youtube not really the best with technology so there's a lot of things i've really had to figure out and so now i'm really trying to be better about keeping things in frame and making sure that You can see everything. So what I'm doing, I like to use electrical tape myself. You can use painter's tape, but the reason why I like electrical tape is because it really curves so much easier. So I am just following my water line, making sure that I I'm even around it. And then I'm gonna go up and cover the rest. And then on this part, make sure that you are leaving yourself a tab so that you can easily pull your tape off when it's time to take it off after epoxy. So now we're going to apply glue to our glass. We want nice, even thin layers of glue, Mod Podge or Tacky Glue. I prefer Mod Podge for glassware. And then I'm going to apply two layers of glitter, letting it dry in between. This is a chunky glitter. It's a little bit harder to get a good coverage. So I definitely need two layers 
on this and I want to make sure it dries well. But you want your glitter to lay nice and flat. And you need to do this with chunky glitter and also, like I said, inexpensive glitter. So I don't want these to be super heavy because they're wine glasses. My first round of epoxy, I'm actually going to be doing a hang method. I'm going to just use like maybe at the most two cc's of epoxy. And just to give it a sealed smooth finish to put a decal on. So the nice thing with this method that I'm going to do if you don't have a turner and you still want to be able to, you know, try some epoxy on your cup, this is a nice way to be able to do it. So I'm going to let these dry completely finish pressing my glitter in and then I will see you back when they're all done and then we'll put epoxy on. So I have my glasses and as you can see they are all nice and dry. Now I have my two-part epoxy and it's part A and part B. This is again the promarine epoxy outside on my porch for the tumblers. I keep it in um, containers with pumps. When I'm using it in here, it's in very small quant quantities. So I keep these little containers like this and just measure it out. I've got gloves. I've got a baby wipe and then of course a mask. So I am going to, oh, and I need something to stir with. And I'll just use a little stir because this is a small amount. So I'm only going to do this for the first layer. However, if you don't have a spinner and you'd like to do this method, you can do this for all of your layers. And when I put this up, I'll also link to it. I do have a video that shows doing this method for a tumbler also because you can do a tumbler in this method now this is a very small amount of epoxy so i have to just really you know pay attention and make sure that i'm getting my amounts even so i like to kind of get down to look at them and my thicker, which is my part A, I just have to make sure because it takes a little bit longer for it to kind of smooth around. And I want to make sure it's completely even. And you can see this is just a tiny, tiny bit of epoxy that's my a and that's my b and you can see i marked my little containers all right so i can move these out of the way and put them back where they go all right so i'm going to mix one into the other and when you're using such a small amount of epoxy, you have to really just, you know, make sure that you're getting all of it. All right, I'm gonna put it on fast mode and stir it for four minutes. All 
All right, so I have my epoxy mixed. And now, and you can see it is a very small amount of epoxy. So now I'm gonna take this small amount of epoxy and I'm going to apply it to my wine glass, just little pieces at a time. And I am going to just slowly rub it off. Now I did seal this glitter but it is, again, an inexpensive glitter and I'm getting some fallout on it. So I'm just going to be gentle and go through and just slowly bring my epoxy down through my entire wine glass. And I just want to really cover the entire wine glass with this small amount of epoxy. This one covered then I'll make another amount of two cc's and do the other wine glass now I am NOT really going all the way up to the top by the tape and this is such a small amount I'm actually gonna wait and take my tape off after I make the second layer of epoxy on this I've decided that I'm gonna do two thin layers and then I'll put my decal on, and then after that, I'll do another thicker but still thin layer using the turner. All right, so I'm mixing up my next layer of epoxy, and this time I'm going to do four cc's about in one so that I can do them both at the same time. Now, I'm not going to really talk through this entire thing, but I am going to just be putting my second layer of epoxy on and then taking off my tape. 